Yandy Diaz is a top three hitter in all of baseball amongst qualified hitters. Sound crazy? Well, it's true. By weighted runs created plus, he's hit about 60% better than the league average. Just behind Air Jordan and some dude from Anaheim. Literally the only person who hits the ball harder than Diaz is that giant from the Bronx. And in terms of how often he hits the ball hard, Yandi is right behind Vladdy Jr., whom he also trails in the All-Star Game voting. Now, crushing the baseball has never been a problem for the Cuban strongman, and Yandi has always had a high offensive floor because he walks a lot and rarely strikes out. What's different this year is that some of those hard hits have started to leave the yard. As Yandi puts it, when I hit a homer, it just comes from selecting better pitches and swinging harder. Well, the data backs that up. Yandi is being slightly more aggressive this season, as his strikeout and walk rates have both trended in the wrong direction. However, it's paid off, as sacrificing just a bit of contact is all in the good name of getting the bat out in front earlier at pitches he deems worthy of going after, a calculated recklessness. This has helped Yandi hit more fly balls than ever before, even as his ground ball rate remains virtually the same. And the balls that he does lift in the air are being hit further and harder here in 2023. It's why Yandi has already crushed 12 home runs, just three homers shy of setting a new career high and we're not even in July yet. And more importantly for the Tampa Bay Rays, he's doing all this plus the intangibles he brings as a clubhouse leader for just $8 million a year. Someone get Yandy Diaz to Seattle and put him in the starting lineup.